feet. How many understand what I'm saying to you? So what's the threefold cord? Number one, we got to teach us to pray. Lord, we need, we need to pray imprecatory prayers that invoke the justice of God. Second, we need to shift over into stronger intercession of praying in tongues that bring the second samuel 5 20 the breakthroughs it's like a, a dam breaking forth number three we have got to get our perspective right we cannot get caught up in fear mongering and we can't get caught up in the wrong perspective but god is looking for legislative rights that he can operate through to deal and to counter the garbage we're seeing and he's counting on you the remnant and you have to get your words right. You have to get your perspective right. And it's going to require the mercy of God to come when we say the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Father, we speak that right now into this atmosphere. We speak that, Lord, you are merciful. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Come on, just keep lifting up your voice right now, those of you that are watching. Father, we pronounce, and they can lift up the, the instruments a little bit. Lord, we pronounce that, Lord, you are good. 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 And your mercy endures forever. God, like a magnet, it draws you to the earth. Like a magnet, it draws you over our nation, the United States. We prophesy and we decree, Lord God, that you are good, that your mercy endures forever. Father, we may deserve judgment, but God, you are judging wickedness. You are judging evil. Therefore, we are praying that you would shatter and silence the mouth of the wicked, that you would absolutely, those who are lying, those who are bringing false narratives and propaganda to try to deceive the, the people of this earth at this time we are calling upon the spirit of truth that you would break and shatter the mouths that you would silence their voices that they will not be able to steal our country or the freedoms thereof God we are calling upon the angelic host of heaven right now to come and to move and to operate in the redemptive plan of the Holy Spirit the help and the hope that comes not of our own might not of our own power but by your spirit and with the help of the angelic forces lord let them excel in strength let them be released now to deal with spiritual entities with wickedness lord god expose at a whole nother level than what we have seen in this country and as it says in the book of exodus in no way would you clear the guilty so we are calling upon you whose foundation is righteousness and justice we invoke your justice like the widow we pray avenge us speedily through our courts Lord God through the White House through our Congress through our Senate Lord in our local governments in our schools Father over the universities avenge us speedily from our adversaries we are praying for a supernatural restraint of the Holy Spirit and the angelic forces we rebuke every spirit of terrorism we rebuke violence and lawlessness and we say that it cannot and will not have a voice we will not have a manifestation in this time we command that the spirit of the lord hover over this nation that you will restrain that lord god you will break the power and the hands of the wicked that they will not be able to carry out that which steals and kills and brings harshness to the innocent come on that's chord number one go to chord number two begin to pray in the holy ghost father we pray for the lord of the breakthrough we are asking for a breakthrough over our electoral process we are praying for breakthrough over the laws that father god kill babies and abort them we are praying lord god for breakthrough over our universities right now and the division and the deception that is in our country so we pray in other tongues and we lift up our voice we yield to the spirit we make intercession over this country. We make intercession. We bind the feet 
and we say it will not once again steal, kill, or destroy concerning the will of the people. Marosetea, we call Marosetea, we call restraint, we call divine order. Marosabareke, Morikasite, Ibresete, Ibresetea, Maroso Barakate. All right, come on, court number three. Father, you are good. 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 And your mercy endures forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Pour out your spirit upon this nation. Let the glory of the Lord come. Bring a divine reversal. Dear Musa, bring a divine reset now. Set up kings and tear down others. God, give us men and women of righteousness in high seats of authority. Let your goodness be seen. Let your goodness be seen. Let your goodness be seen in the land of our living. Oh, God. The Spirit of God says, listen to me. I came to my disciples and I asked them a question that I ask of you this night. Who do men say that I am? For there is many that are looking and they are misreading my signs. But they are misreading my character at this hour. But I even say, as I said to my disciples, who do you say that I am? For I speak at this time that I will bring revelation to those who will truly seek to know who I am and what I'm doing and how I'm choosing to manifest at this hour. Therefore, pay attention. For I speak of a time now over your country as you enter in through the spring months. You enter into the summer months and you are nearing the time of the fall. For I say to you that it is not just the time of a natural fall, a natural season but this is my season that I proclaim unto this nation it is the season of my great fall and it has been a long fall but listen to me as I say to you that at the beginning of your August months 91 days leading up to your scheduled election there has been much plotted and planned by incantations and things that have already been spoken upon the altars of evil that they have released incantations and agendas and ideas to bring about chaos to bring about shutdowns to bring about delays and disruptions but I say to you do not be like Eutychus that fell asleep in a window in a third story seat that represented the heavens the place of the throne room the third heaven the place where I rule and I reign and you reign with me but he fell asleep yet there are some who have fallen asleep and I speak to you and I say in this time that arises in the first days of August through your scheduled election there is much to try to bring fear, even manipulating of weather, to bring about a storm that would arise and cross through the Atlantic, to bring great destruction against your nation, to make it look like there is compassion, when there is no compassion, but there is disruption. There is chaos that they seek. But it shall be your prayers. It shall be your watch. It shall be your decree, even Psalm 91, 91 days, that the things that they desire to do by the day and that which would come and even try to cripple you and distract you by the night would have no power and have no voice. For there is a generation that is rising at this time, as my word says, that shall seek my face. Why do you think the enemy is bent so much, says the Lord, to kill the children in the womb and even outside? Why do you think that there is uprising upon the universities? 
It's because the enemy fears the generation that is rising and shall arise. They will seek my face. For there is a reset. There are reversals that are in order and in place now. And I need you, my people, to stand in a place where you pray and you call upon my justice. And you pray and you yield to my spirit, but you decree and you declare my goodness. And you will see that preservation prevails over plans of demonic agendas. You will see that I have restored and I will restore the years that the enemy has sought to steal, kill, and destroy. And God said it will not be by the masses, but it will be by the few who have stood, who have prayed, and who have called upon me at this time that I've answered and will continue to answer. For I speak to you and I tell you there is a day coming where you will say from your lips in this country, we remember when, because there will be such change, change for good. I speak to you, God says, many who quote Jeremiah 29, my plan is redemption. It is not of evil. It is to give you help and it is to give you hope. And it's to give you an expected end. I am bringing this country into rest, but I need you through these next few months to stand on watch and guard as I've spoken tonight that the powers of darkness will not distract, delay, or bring chaos and division. But there will be a strange calm that will arise if you pray. As it was when I spoke to the winds and I told it to be still in the time of my disciples' fear in the boat. Thank you, Lord. There is something stirring over this house. Can I have my towel, please, for just a minute? Thank you. I can see like a, a whirlwind in the spirit over this church. It's a stirring by the angelic. There's an angel sent to this house. I can see it. And God says, this house, you have been standing, decreeing, and believing for the healing of families and homes and of prodigals. And this is what I am doing. I'm not just healing families, but I'm also healing this nation, for this nation has been like a prodigal to me, and I'm calling it back. So continue your decrees, continue your prayers, and you will begin to see something that manifests over this house. You will begin to see loved ones and family members begin to come, and they'll return not only unto me, but they'll come to this house, and they'll be discipled. And you'll see a wave of growth that will begin to increase like you saw when there was a period of time in this house. There's a revisitation of that again because you have aligned yourself with the kiss of the Father as he kissed upon the prodigal. I have kissed upon this house to bring family members unto this house, household salvations, return of prodigals, but also so God says that anointing shall also be sent and released over this country to bring it back to me and bring it back into divine order. But now there is another swirl. For there are incantations. There is witchcraft that is spoken and spoken the words infirmity to come to this house and to touch individuals of this house with infirmity. But God says there is something that is swirling now that is countering it and it is an angel that has been sent as it was in the days when the man was at the pool of Bethesda and he was there in that condition for 38 years and God says, listen to me, there is an anointing that I'm going to revisit in this house of a generations prior of a healing movement and those that operated in divine healing and those that operated in signs and in wonders and in miracles and it was part of a bloodline it was part of legacy it was part of that which I visited in the generations this angel has been sent now to revisit upon the bloodline and upon the inheritance and upon this pastor and upon those that are of his blood it has come now 
to this house to stir the waters of healing. For there is a time that I will call this house to pray and to fast specifically for this stirring. But there is a call to specifically fast that I will lead this church. It will be a short fast, but it will be powerful. And it will be a call to specifically pray for the angel, the pastor that I set over this house. God says, what can be done in seven days? What can happen in seven days when you will seek my face? Fast and pray. Watch what I do to this angel, this leader. But watch what this angel shall release over this house and even release to you, Pastor Tim, and for you. That shall break forth over this house. And there will be a stirring of waters, of signs and wonders and healing. That will happen during the time because part of that inheritance is is through you and it's going to come stronger and it's going to come through the instruments it's going to come through the sound of your voice and the playing of the keys and you're going to release it and people are going to begin to testify of healings at a whole nother level than what you have seen in the history of this church and god says it'll even be where i will tell you to have special nights where that's what you will do is you will pray for the sick and you watch what i do because the waters of healing are being stirred on a personal level but over this church for an assignment by God thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord we worship you come on just lift up your hands and worship him we worship you we worship you we worship you we worship you thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we worship you. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. In fact, I feel that healing anointing coming right now. I can feel it stirring in the atmosphere. Thank you, Lord. Come on, if you need a healing touch in your body, and those of you that are watching, I declare the healing power of God. The same spirit that quickened the mortal body of Yeshua quickens your mortal body. I send the word and I command all symptoms of disease and sickness and infirmity. Come out. Loose them. We loose the healing power of God. We send it forth. We command all sickness go. All disease. Cancer of their bodies and stay out we loose the healing power of God into every cell every fiber every organ every particle the bones the blood the immune system of your bodies we speak life we speak health we speak Psalm 121 divine preservation we speak Psalm 91 16 with long life he shall satisfy thee thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on up, Pastor. There's somebody in this section right over here where there was something that recently the doctors were looking at your report and there was something. It's, you're, you're right over in the section. It's where my, I, I feel it on my hand and it pulls me in that direction. Where the doctors were talking about your blood, <laughs> your numbers, the condition, something with your blood. And God is wanting me to speak the scripture in the book of Ezekiel where it says that when you were polluted in your blood, God spoke to your blood and commanded it to live. But you just came from the doctor recently and it was something to do with your blood, your blood work. And you're in this section right over here. Who is that, please? Just raise your hand and I'll pray for you. Is that you? Can, can you come up here for just a moment? Thank you. I just want to speak life. I'm telling you, you're going to see a divine turnaround pretty fast. Is there a woman that could come and, and, and lay their hand as part of the staff or somebody here as well? Could just touch her real quick? Yeah, if, if, okay. Father, in the name of Yeshua, I speak to your blood. And I command your blood to live. 
And I rebuke any negative report and diagnosis, and I command a divine reversal. I command your blood to live, every cell. Live life in the name of Yeshua.